Hello, PCCS friends. I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about how you can use the Read and Write for Google extension with Epic Books on your Chromebook. Now, Epic is super awesome and there is lots of options for books that will read to you. And I'm sure you're very familiar with those. But today I wanna to talk a little bit about how you can read a book that does not have the read to you option using the Read and Write for Google toolbar. So I'm going to open up a book and we're gonna get started. As you can see, I'm on a book that does not have a read to you option. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to the top of my screen and I'm gonna click on that cool purple puzzle piece called Read and Write for Google. Everyone in PCCS should have that little purple puzzle piece. I'm going to turn it on by clicking on it and you see it brings up the web toolbar. I can move this toolbar down to the bottom or leave it up at the top, whatever you are most comfortable with. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about the one tool on this toolbar that will help you read books in Epic that don't have a read to me feature. This tool, I'm sure you're familiar with it, is called Screenshot Reader. When I turn this tool on, it turns my cursor into a little plus sign. And you can see now I can use my mouse to capture image or text on a screen. Now I don't wanna capture that whole amount because it will take a long time for the tool to read it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably read a little bit of paragraph at a time. So I'm gonna scroll around that paragraph and I'm going to let it go. And it's going to buffer, which tells me it's getting ready to read it. When that colors, when those colors at the bottom stop, it will start reading. Sometimes we have to wait a moment or two. So that's why it's good to do a small section at a time. The Bucks were down by one point with only 31 seconds left in the game. And Ted Accountpo had already scored 42 points. It was a career best night for him. Now he stood at now I can't use pause, but you see I clicked out of that X, which made it stop. So again, the screenshot reader is a great tool for reading small sections at a time, and it will work to read any text that it can recognize on a screen. So this is a really great tool to use when you're trying and to, to the read. Combo takes the ball to the hoop during a 2017 game against the Trailblazers. Now, if I need to hear it again, you see this little triangle, you can hit the triangle and it the will play again. Takes the ball to the hoop during a again, hit the X and it will go away. It should work almost on every single word you can see, even in a picture sometimes. Hard walked. Close. So that is how you use the Read and Write for Google toolbar to read Get Epic Books. See you next time. Have a great day.